Hi guys, welcome to The Mix, it's weekly roundup time and we're back once more uh, with a range of new goodies that have just turned up in The Mix, whether it's new flavours, new brands, all the rest of it. Um, it seems to be so busy at the moment, it has been non-stop since the start of the year, uh, we're trying to get a little bit more... Um, better cherry picking things to show you in here because I always promise it's not going to be really long and it always is uh, but uh, we'll dive right in in a minute with the big hitter which is the lovely glorious orange thing right here from Battle Snacks the frosted carrot cake bites Ooh. Um, but just to say uh, first off yes you might have noticed I finally got that haircut so I'm feeling more human that's my big news um, and I uh, hope you've all been surviving the snow and the cold and stuff okay obviously what we've seen here in the UK is nothing on uh, what they've seen in the States, in Chicago, like where ghosts are from, and uh, the polar vortexes and, and this and the other, vortices. Um, but yeah, a couple of inches here and, and you know the trains stop and the deliveries get delayed and everything. And that's really my point. Um, apologies if any deliveries have been delayed. Um, we've put some warnings up on site and we, we did some upgrading and we made a special effort to make sure the careers got here on time. We took some things to depots and everything else. So I think we've about got away with it, but apologies if any of your goodies have been delayed. And there've been so many exciting things this past week. Uh, delays are the last thing we'll have wanted. Um, Anyway, on that, on the really exciting things, um, let's get some fuel for this one. Um, battle snacks. Right. Battle snacks. Frosted carrot cake. This was uh, released, get this to wave around. Frosted carrot cake. Um, battle oats, formerly battle oats, now battle snacks. This was uh, actually teased. Uh, last couple of months of uh, 2018. So we've been waiting for this one for absolutely ages. Anticipation has been building. And um, we were actually lucky enough in the mix to try samples of this. I mean, going back several months now. So we, we've actually had not one, uh, but I think two rounds of samples. Kevin and Sean were nice enough to share with us. And um, yeah, it's, it's got better and better each time, culminating in this final uh, lovely, gloriously orange thing right here. So I'll, I'll open that in a sec. Um, I am uh, solo again today, so I'll, I'll be running backwards and forwards to, to um, give you the cross-section of these things, and the texture and the inside of these things is always wonderful. Um, anyway, yes, big build-up to these ones, Frosted Carrot Cake. So, Battle Oats, Battle Snacks, uh, yeah, Battle Bites being their, their new best-selling thing. Uh, very, very popular in the mix. It's, it's uh, really fun for us to work with them, uh, partially because... Um, I've been working uh, with, well, Icon Nutrition, Battlers, etc. So for years and years, since the beginning of the mix, and it's great to see them growing and growing and coming out with these amazing bars and flavors and stuff, and there's great stuff to come as well. Uh, so cool one for me, but also, yeah, everyone likes them. So the birthday cake and the red velvet in particular were a breakthrough, breakthrough flavors uh, back end of last year, and um, I'm sure all of you have tried it by now. They are amazing, and they continue to sell really well. Frosted carrot cake then, yes, first one, 2019. Uh, shut up, let's just uh, let's just open the thing. Um, yeah, I've got another one in here. Uh, <laughs> get these cute little boxes. Um, so it's got a white chocolate coating. It's got uh, orange crunchy carrot sprinkles. They don't really taste of much, um, but they, they certainly add to the fun uh, and they will probably make quite a mess in a minute, as you will see. Um, but yeah, as I say, fun. Um, 20 grams of protein, uh, 8 grams of fat for the two bites, 16 grams of carbs of which less than 3 grams sugar, 2.9 grams of sugar. So that's, yeah, fairly incredible uh, for a sweet carrot cakey style thing. So, there we go. Let's open it up. Let's see if I've got a good one with carrot cake sprinkles on. Et voila! There it is! What's up, Doc? That is. Right, cool. Okay, so I've got one of the bites here. You can see it's white chocolate coated, got orangey carrots on top. Um... I'm going to bring it in. We're going in. We're going in. You're going to hear me crunching and the rest of it. Let's see if I can tie this one up properly. Yes. You can see that's a lovely orange thing. Okay. They've got... I don't know how fast it's going to focus on the inside, but you can see the carrots. So here we go. Mmm. 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 -hmm. Okay. Not a world of things to see, I suppose. Not quite like the birthday cake where you can see the fruity orange, um, fruity uh, strawberry layer. Um, but, uh, very cakey center, very soft as it always is with Battle Bites. Uh, the sweetness predominantly coming from the, the frosting, I suppose, the white chocolate coating. Um, mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. You hear that crunching? Yeah, the carrot sprinkles are quite big. And it's a nice, um, again, 
One of my favorite things about these bars is the, the variety of texture going on. So, I, I mean, it's, uh, they're very soft, so there's not a lot of chew to this bar. It's, it's definitely not an old school chewy protein bar type experience. None of them are. Um, but it provides a sort of soft cake style center uh, with a, a fine fondant layer on top, which changes from bar to bar. In this case, that's where most of the spice comes in. So it adds moisture, it adds spice, and in terms of spice, we're talking, yes, cinnamon, that's probably the main flavor, but it's got an uncannily carrot cakey experience. So they, they've really gone to town with the authenticity of the spices here. So yes, there's ginger, uh, there's nutmeg going on, there's allspice going on, maybe a hint of cloves, all these things that you wouldn't tend to get. Yeah. You won't tend to get in your, your average run-of-the-mill protein bar manufacturing uh, type setup. So the fact that these are made in a, a UK traditional bakery that's just been modified and developed for purpose means that they can add so much more to these things. The, the, the much fuller cake-style experience, bake-off style experience uh, than you get in many other protein bars. I mean, we always try and find protein bars that do something a little bit exceptional, a little bit different, uh, but in this case, uh, Battle Bites, they, they do have a, a really singular experience coming out of the bakery there, and it, it's all the wonderful flavors. Um, yes, so, long and short of it is incredible nutritionals, as it is in all the other bars, uh, but this is a, a you, can, you could think of it as a sort of cinnamon roll bar, but it's definitely got a twist to it. There is definitely a carrot cake angle. Angle. So there's no raisins. I mean, I, I gave one to my sister, and she's like, oh, I can sense the raisin, almost like the sort of fruity angle you might get in some luxury carrot cakes. But no, there's no raisins in there. Uh, there's no nuts in there or anything like that. But the spicing really is wonderful. Soft center, the, the kind of fine fondant on top, um, you can't necessarily see so clearly, but it's there. Uh, and then the white chocolate coating and the crunchy carrots. And the merest, merest hint of orange. There's a kind of zesty thing going on, which again is, is perhaps something zest you'd grate on top of your usual iced buttercreamy carrot cake. Again, delivered faithfully in Battle Bites' new bar. Anyway, yes, these are the big hitters in the mix now, making a huge fuss. Uh, we stocked up on these massively because I'm sure everyone needs to try them. Everyone will keep going uh, mad for them for the foreseeable. Um, and it's available in our Battle Bites Bite Me bundle along with the birthday cake, the red velvet, the chopped caramel, etc. All the other wonderful flavors. Um, yes, there is more coming from these guys. A couple of months time, perhaps. Can't really say anything. Um, and yeah, even more so. But um, Kevin and Sean, fantastically well done here. Okay, um, that's the big one. Um, so, uh, I mean, there is another big one, I should say, uh, one that I would love to have covered here, um, but uh, as with Swalsom all the time, and it's been a little while since a new launch, since the Christmas range, uh, we had a new, uh, well, an early start on a Valentine's bar from Swalsom, it's called the Cookies and Dreamy Bar, there's a milk chocolate coated uh, cookies and cream style centre with real crushed Oreo in there, uh, real white chocolate um, kind of fondant centre, it, it's really, really creamy, really, really cookie-y. Um, yeah, fantastic bar. Uh, it sold out. Um, <laughs> it sold out before I got a chance to do this video. So yeah, a couple of days, all the stock's gone. We have another batch coming, and that was supposed to be it. I think we might beg Maddie to do yet another batch, because honestly, if we get them in midweek, um, we might actually not even make it to Valentine's Day. I mean, there's still best part of two weeks on that. So, full swallows and restocks coming the week ahead, uh, and more of those bars. If you've got them already, um, I thank you for sharing your feedback. Everyone seems to really love this one, so we're going to try and keep it sticking around as long as we can. Um, but yeah, I'll have to do the video introduction on that one next week, so tune in for that then, folks. Yay! Um, but yeah, the, the carrot cake and that Swalsom one hitting in the same week was absolutely incredible. So I mean, this is why we've been running around in circles and panicking so much about the snow delaying things. Um, anyway, yeah, so we are done with bars. I'm going to introduce a new brand here. So this is, this is a whole shebang. I'm not actually sure if we've done one quite like this before. And don't worry, I'm not going to go through everything in detail. I'll just do a whistle-stop tour of GOT7. Um, odd name, uh, and I googled this. Uh, I knew the company for a while because uh, at the FIBO show, the big fitness show in Germany a couple of years back, uh, I had the good fortune of trying some of their uh, functional foods and snacks, uh, and we loved them back then. 
Uh, it's a dialogue that's been going on behind the scenes. And finally, uh, Shane over at Stacked, at Stack 3D, um, hooked us up and uh, we managed to get hold of the guys over in Germany and, and get a shipment of these in uh, just to start us off but um, yeah got seven but yeah so when I googled it it came up I think with a Japanese boy band or something but it's nothing to do with that um, got seven uh, functional foods from Germany uh, they do a huge range of stuff loads of chips crisps you know light snacks um, they've got a load of chocolatey bar uh, type wafer things um, they've got a chocolate spread down there they've got these flavor drops um, loads of you guys love buying flavor drops from them, uh, from us. Um, we love flavor drops as well. I've always got something or other on me, whether it's these ones, the Frankie's ones, or something, you know, the, the sachets. We've even got the Flex um, Devotion sachets we get in when we can. Uh, fantastic when you're going to, to Costa, Starbucks, Pret, mucking around at home. Uh, really good to flavor things. I mean, even to make foods with Punti yogurt and everything. So, yeah, drops are great. You know that. Um, what else have they got? They've got some wraps. Um, they've got savory sauces, which we don't have in yet. They're just rebranding them, but they've got like pesto sauce, barbecue sauce. Again, all phenomenal ones we've tried, uh, so we'll have them soon. Um, anyway, right now we've got mainly the, the light crisps and snacky bits uh, and the chocolate things. So I'll, I'll, I'll run you through the main ones. Um, I'll be honest, you, you'll have had some things like this before. When it comes to protein chips, crisps, snacks, uh, many of the brands, and there have been too many to count, um, you know, from, from Novo to Moose Chips, to, I mean, Quest chips probably stand apart slightly differently. They are more crispy. But, um, yeah, so many over the years we've always had, and the brands kind of rise and fall and things. But these guys have been making them for a while, and they're a big name over on the continent. Um, anyway, yeah, protein chips. Uh, these are way fortified. It's about 200 calories a bag. So it's actually technically two servings here, uh, but you actually get quite a lot. I mean, certainly more than you get in uh, many of the competitors who are doing protein chips. So, save me just talking. Um, they're kind of disky things. You can see that from there. It's probably not worth bringing over, but um, mm -mm -mm. you can probably hear that. You get the experience. They're kind of crisp, but um, quite perfectly round. Mm. Um, what else are we talking? 16 grams of carbs for a whole bag. Uh, less than two grams of sugar for a whole bag. So, yeah, a little bit carby. Very low sugar, though. Um, high fiber, as they say. Uh, Protein-wise, you are getting, yeah, best part of 20 grams in a, uh, in a 50 gram bag. Um, did I say 200 grams? Best part of 20 grams, about 18 grams of protein in this 50 gram bag. So that's pretty good as well. Yeah, lovely light snacks. Chuck them in the gym bag, take them away with you, munch them in the cinema. Loads of good things. The flavors where it's really at. You probably uh, can sense that I'm not much of a savory guy. I mean, I've, I've got a protein sweet shop. Uh, so this is why many of the things here are almost offensively sweet. Um, but savory things wise, yeah, I do munch them occasionally and certainly the, the guys on the team do. Uh, and we have got um, hot barbecue. I think we've got paprika. We've got a really weird, so weird that I actually pulled it out. I've never seen any of the other protein chip manufacturers do this and it's actually really nice. Greek style, they call it. Um, so I think it's basil, um, oregano, uh, parsley, thyme, etc. So I, I've never had these in, in crisps before, certainly not in a protein world. So same, same kind of deal. Sod it, I'll eat it. Um, yeah, incredibly nice. And it tastes like a really kind of authentic, rustic, um, seasoned uh, season like tomato base on a pizza, like a, a real handmade, hand-stretched kind of one. I guess it's it's... The parsley, is it, or the you know, barrel, whatever it is, yeah. It tastes amazing, so we got Greek, we got paprika, we got barbecue, we have got uh, sour cream and onion, and we've got Thai sweet chili. It's all fairly traditional there. They're really nice. Um, Spin-offs to whip through them. Protein snack! So in the traditional uh, Teutonic sort of German sense, um, it, it's, it's, it's quite bold and you know, quite straight to the point with what they're delivering. Protein snack. Uh, these are actually nachos, though, and this is um, paprika flavor. I mean, don't be put off by the German. There's English all over it. Yes, all the labels are fully um, European compliant in all the languages and everything. Um, these are basically um, nachos, tortilla chips. Uh, and these are probably my favorite of the lot. Great paprika flavor on them. Um, almost rice cakey in texture. Very, very light. Very, very tasty. Again, 200 calories a bag. Uh, and on these ones, you're looking at slightly less protein. It's more like 16 grams. 
Uh, again, I think the sugar's super low, less than two grams of sugar in the whole bag. Uh, roughly 20 grams of carbs. Yeah, again, delicious light snack. Final one. Um, this is actually the only one, they call these protein flips, and this is in Brazilian barbecue flavor. It's the only flavor on these ones, the same as the paprika is the only flavor on the nachos. Um, this is actually says on it vegan, and yet it's got a very uh, meaty, steaky flavor. So that seems to be an odd, uh, an odd one to me. Um, these remind me of knickknacks. <laughs> so tiny little things. There we go, making a mess of the shop. Um, yeah, nifty little things. Again, very light, very crunchy, very pleasant flavor. Good amount you get in a bag, very, very filling. Um, I think, yeah, I mean, most of them are sort of say, uh, I think they say um, no gluten containing ingredients. Um, yeah, I say this is vegan. Um, I can't see any reason the tortilla chips aren't vegan as well, the nachos, so I can't see any non-vegan ingredients. Um, on the chips, I think they are way fortified, but on the nachos, I think they might be vegan too. I'll double check with the guys, but they look vegan. These, these promise it. Um, this is, yeah, 200 calories a bag, six grams of fat, uh, 26 grams of carbs, carbs jump up a bit, sugars jump up a tiny bit too, so just over two grams of sugar, uh, and again, 12 grams of protein. So yeah, these are probably the the the, the kind of least protein-packed and novel foods of the lot, um, but perhaps the most traditional little snacks. Anyway, good fun. Woo! Um, you know, I promised I wasn't going to go through these in detail, and I am. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, the only other one I'll show you is, is some of the chocolatey things. So that's the crisps kind of done. Drops we've got. Uh, we've got a chocolate spread, uh, especially Nutella, it's a hazelnut spread, super low sugar again, protein fortified. Uh, we've had a few other protein spreads like this. Uh, this is a delicious, authentic chocolate flavor. If you want a guilt-free Nutella, this is uh, a great choice again, so that'll be on there, but you'll have had stuff like it before. It's still nice. Um, unusual named bars, Brasileiro. Brasileiro, yes, like Brazilian, I guess. Um, Baia bar, again, I think that's Baia. Um, and we've got tiny little Rio Crunch bars. Um, these just a chocolate wafer finger, very light, very tasty, uh, and again, low sugar. They're always looking to get low sugar in them. Um, these Brasileiro uh, bars, I uh, remind me of the uh, kind of Nutramino um, Nutria wafers. So they're basically little mini wafer bars. Ah, uh, sod it, it's Saturday. I'm gonna dive in here quickly and I'll do a couple more um, trips to the camera just because I could do with the snacks, and uh, I do like showing things on these. I suppose it sort of makes worthwhile you actually watching them. Um, so there you go, lovely golden wrapper. You get three in each one, uh, and each portion is 100 calories, six grams of fat, uh, 7.5 grams of carbs, super low sugar, half a gram of sugar, uh, and four grams of protein. So yeah, nice, delicious treat. You wouldn't really know there's protein in here. I'm running up. Brasileiro, boom. Can you see the edge of the wrapper? I've nice and torn it, well done. But yeah, it's a it's a it's a square wafer thing, uh, chocolate sandwich through the middle, splurging out the side, all low sugar chocolate, uh, uh, as I say. Um, yeah. Mm -mm. So that's kind of Nutella uh, choc hazelnut flavor again. So they do love their hazelnut on the continent. Um, there's real hazelnuts in there, I can see as well. Yeah, absolutely delicious. Three of those you get in a pack as well, so it's actually really good value for doing that. Um, but great on-the-go snacks or something just to, you probably dunk them really well, soak up tea, coffee, hot chocolate perfectly. I haven't had a chance yet. We, we haven't had these in that long, but yeah, gorgeous. Why am I playing with the carrot cake? Final one, Bio Bars, again, um, these are probably what most of you are gonna get excited about. Uh, they're essentially mini Kit Kats. And what's cool, you get three. You get three again in a pack. So again, make some great value for that. Uh, these are no added sugar, gluten-free, uh, palm fat-free, so I think that means palm oil. Um, uh, it is per one of these, 100 calories, little things, eight grams of fat, eight grams of carbs, less than a gram of sugar, nearly uh, three and a half grams of protein. So, I just open it is, they are very, very um, dinky, but they, they taste phenomenal. I've seen that word, so there you go. Let's get my face out of the shot a little bit. Milk chocolate coated, like here you go, Kit Kat style fingers. You can see the wafer going on in there. Generous amount of chocolate coating it. Wafer through the center. Yeah, it's a mini Kit Kat. Tastes creamier than a Kit Kat. It almost has that cooling 
a xylitol taste to it. I don't think that's what's in it, but yeah, either way, delicious mini Kit Kats, three to a pack. Again, very dunkable, lovely light snacks. Um, just take the edge off your appetite, give you something a little bit naughty that isn't that naughty. They're fantastic. Okay, so there you go. You've got the chocolatey bits, they're on site now. All the crisps on site now, and you can buy uh, six pack boxes and stuff as well. The chocolate spread, flavor drops, I mentioned these, calorie free, sugar free, the works, vegan obviously. Um, unusual flavors and some usual flavors. We've got a bit of a mix. Um, so there's your vanilla, there's chocolate, there's cinnamon roll, there's butter biscuit, um, there's a creamy hazelnut, uh, there's toffee obviously. Always do toffee flavors, milk, chocolate. What else have we been through at the moment? I've only tried a handful of these. They're all absolutely delicious. They they are um, more like the my protein drops you you may buy uh, than they are perhaps the Frankie's drops we have. The Frankie's drops are kind of like water and they can be a little bit sharp, um, but yeah, very good value. They go a long way. Um, these ones kind of look like uh, alchemist pipetti type things. A little bit scary, but. You know, good quality stuff, and the, the, the stuff inside, it, it's kind of richer and more intense, and it, it, yeah, I much prefer them in this format anyway, and the bottles stand out. So, yeah, bunch of flavors. Um, they're in one listing as well, so when you, you buy two or three of them, uh, you'll get a 5% discount, and it'll grow like that, so you can pick and mix across all the flavors. They're on site now. They do other sauces, spreads, um, like wraps, baking mixes. Keep an eye out for it. Got7, we'll be doing a lot more with these guys in the mix uh, as we get more stuff over. Um, until potentially Brexit scuppers us, so I don't know what's going to happen in a couple of months' time. But yeah, we're going to get as much as we can from Germany uh, in the meantime. I think you guys will love them. Lots of people have been buying them already, and we've barely announced them, but they're on site. Final one, I promise. Um, yes, we've had loads of new stuff in January. We've got loads of new stuff coming, as per, uh, but we do have some promotions coming up. So we're going to try and have some fun with that and set the site up around the deal of the day system and everything that's been very quiet at the moment. Um... First one uh, is going to be, um, this is why all the PES stuff here, PE Science, so our great friends over there. Hi Ben, if you're watching. Um, they've hooked us up with a little bit of a promo. Not only uh, are you getting the free shaker with the stacks, which I think we've still got on site at the moment, we've had it running since um, Black Friday, to be honest, so uh, they're nice enough to send these things through, so we love to share them with you guys. Um, and uh, yeah, we're souping up that deal, uh, certainly through this month, whereas stocks last, and for every PES uh, stack you buy at the moment, so that's the, the two tub stack, the select the best, or the best just got better stack, that's it. Um, the, um, uh, the focus on the pump, which is high volume uh, and prolific, which is our best selling stack. The thermo pump stack, which is the Alphamine, uh, which is their slightly um, weaker pre-workout. Again, used to be sold as a fat burner. I wouldn't really worry about it as that now, but it will raise your metabolism, uh, thermogenic, um, levels and stuff so it, it, it's great for that it's, it certainly helped you zipping around the gym without the full bore uh pre-workout experience you'd get from prolific but neither of them have beta alanine or anything like that in it neither's got creatine in so it, yeah it's just it's great pre-workouts that kind of give you what you need which is a little bit of a boost uh and the focus you get in the prolific oh, anyway um yeah there's ps recovery stack which is the amino iv um bcaa's um yep destroyed the display um along with the uh, a select protein two pound tub um, yeah, so a bunch of bundles on site there. In fact, it's even on the bar bundle. So for the um, the PES Select Protein Bars, these great things, uh, again, you'll get it. So you'll get a shaker, you'll get um, a five-serving Amino IV Mini. So you'll try, you get to try a different flavor, perhaps, than one you buy if you buy the recovery stack and everything. Very, very handy for the gym bag. Teeny little scoop inside. You can reuse these pots as well. I've been doing that for having pre-workout kind of little servings on the go. Very cute. All the flavors available in this. So it'll be a random one you get, I think. Um, but yeah, uh, it's uh, we've been selling these for like eight pounds on their own. Um, so yeah, great value when you get it the shaker and you get that. And we'll include some sachets. So you get the um, amino IV little pot, you get a bunch of sachets, the high volume, prolific, select, whatever we've got in at the moment, um, and the, the shaker. So that'll be on site by the time you see this. Uh, so take advantage while stocks last, I say. Uh, and then the next one is going to be um, something with bear bells. So I'll tell you more about this one next week, but kicking in through February, um, we'll be doing a little something with these guys. So there you have it, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, yes, ended up being way longer than I intended, but as long as you take away that we've got this new brand, great deal on these, and the wonderful Frosted Carrot Cake Battle Bites are finally in the mix, uh, I think we'll be okay. So thank you for watching. Again, if the snow persists, good luck with that. And um, yeah, February, we're in February. So second month 2019 is upon us. Uh, so um, yeah, let's, let's make this even bigger and better than January, and we'll keep forging on, pushing ahead uh, into 2019.
yeah, so see you next time, guys, and uh, have a fantastic weekend. Thanks for watching. <laughs>